It is now 9.02 and new this morning. Only Action News was there as protesters associated with the white supremacist group Patriot Front marched through the heart of Philadelphia. Counter protesters confronted that particular group. Police did respond to the scene that you see right here. That march coming ahead of today's visit by First Lady Jill Biden and her security is heightened for the 4th of July. Action News reporter Becca Hendrickson is live on Independence Mall with an update on the commotion in the city of Philadelphia. Becca, what are you learning about this? Greg, first of all, the First Lady is due to be here on Independence Mall within the next few hours for a celebration of freedom ceremony. As you said, with her presence comes heightened security. Homeland Security had issued a warning this week about the threat of violent extremists exploiting the return of large gatherings. Now, while they remained nonviolent last night, a group of white supremacists were here in Philadelphia. They marched through the city on the eve of the First Lady's visit. Police say none of the protesters were from Philadelphia. Patriot Front is based in Texas and they traveled into the city. Action News was the only crew on scene as the group traveled down the Ben Franklin Parkway across Market, Chestnut and Walnut Streets before marching to Penn's Landing. Hundreds of mass protesters from Patriot Front chanted while carrying American flags and shields. At Penn's Landing, several onlookers began yelling at the protesters and banging on trucks as the group loaded into the vehicles and drove off. Police say some of those angry onlookers actually scared off the white supremacists. They started engaging with uh, citizens of Philadelphia who were none too happy about some of the things they were saying. Uh, the, apparently these males felt threatened and at what point somebody in their crowd threw a type of uh, what we believe is a smoke bomb to cover their to retreat and they literally ran away from the people of Philadelphia. Police later questioned the entire group of protesters after pulling their trucks over for safety reasons along the Delaware along Delaware Avenue. Now, police say no property was destroyed during this commotion last night. We are hoping to learn more about why these white supremacists were in Philadelphia. But again, this was on the eve of the First Lady's visit to the city. Live on Independence Mall, Becca Hendrickson, Channel 6 Action News. Alicia.